As a stand-up comedian, many of my fans and colleagues have nicknamed me the Silent Killer, and that's because my dry sense of humor has destroyed audiences into fits of laughter. Alright, no one has given me that nickname, but could you? It'd be cool. Unfortunately, there is only one Silent Killer out there, and that's Carbon Monoxide. And Carbon Monoxide is not cool. It's a colorless, odorless gas, and it can kill. On average, 400 Americans die from unintentional carbon monoxide poisoning each year. Notable people such as tennis player Vitas Gerolaitis and Weird Al Yankovic's parents have passed, unfortunately, from this kind of poisoning. Luckily, there's a way to go about preventing it, and that's by having a carbon monoxide detector in your home. Now, because of these situations, many states require that you have a carbon monoxide detector in your home. Now, this home came with this carbon monoxide detector, but I soon realized that it had apparently died. And so that's why today I'll be showing you how to handle a carbon monoxide detector. This carbon monoxide detector is the Kitty Nighthawk. It's a very popular and effective brand. The problems with this detector began when a beeping noise would occur periodically. This will happen when the battery needs to be changed. But upon changing the battery, the beeping noise continued. The test button did nothing and no numbers were appearing on the display that signifies how much carbon monoxide may be in the air. Most carbon monoxide detectors are like American marriages. They last five to seven years. If you're unclear as to how long it's been, there's a manufacturer date on the detector. The manufacturer date for this detector is October 1st, 1998. Yikes! It's a miracle this detector was even working at this point. And while I may love Natalie Imbruglia's Torn, it's not a good situation to have a carbon monoxide detector that was born when that song was on the billboard charts. So it's now essential to change the carbon monoxide detector. I bought a new Kitty Nighthawk detector and input the battery. As you can see, our manufacturer data is far more recent. Many detectors are battery powered, but this Nighthawk with its display has both a plug-in and a battery if the electricity were to go out. Make sure to plug the detector in an outlet at least 5 feet above the ground and in areas close to where gas is used, and that have the highest possibilities of carbon monoxide occurring. Now test it out. Wow, that is really loud. But I guess that's what's needed to ensure we won't die. Well, we will die. Just not of carbon monoxide poisoning, at least today. Well, that's it. And now you can feel comfortable knowing that you're protected from carbon monoxide. And, at the least, every time the battery needs to be changed, a loud beeping noise will occur that'll wake you up in the middle of the night and cause your dog to lose her mind. But hey, you're still alive. Well, in conclusion, be safe out there, and just remember, that nobody beats Vitas Girolaitis 17 times in a row.